everyone. Everyone, how you doing? Okay. Good evening, everyone. This is John Moody of uh, Moody Mystery, and uh, we are now on episode 25. I would guess, I'd, wouldn't you, I'd, I'd call this the silver episode of Wizardry 7 with single character in the D Forte balanced mod. So what we're doing is we are now we are in the witch cave. Uh, we've already got two out of the four body parts. So if we look in our inventory, oops. Oh, we didn't. Yeah, we left them back where we found them. That way we don't have inventory management issues. But we are going in a new direction. So we should inspect expect it. I was going to say an encounter any moment. Okay, some dragon lizards. As you can remember, these will breathe acid. Notice even, even though we are hidden, you know, as I said, we can still get hit by breath attacks. Why do we have to worry? We got the freaking cane of Corpus. Come on, it's like got the best weapon. Pretty much, I would say about the best weapon in the game. Some may say the light sword comes pretty close. The thing with the light sword, ooh, upon the wall of cavern hangs a mirror of black stone. As you approach, a spectral face with teeth of gold appears within. Rats, tails, and demons, blood. What name be under South Witch Hood? <laughs> You'll never get me. Oh boy. Let's try Barbana. Nope. Okay, I know it's not Car Carmela. I don't think it's Neralda. So I'm going to go with Zandasa. Yep, I knew it. I think Neralda's the north. <laughs> thou, thou shalt call the name, shall know thy bane. Wilt thou fill my hold with one thousand coins of gold? <laughs> Me want gold. Sheesh, you're just as bad, bad as the Danes. I mean, those Danes are like... Here. Oh, no, no. These are the Danes. They have both hands out. They're like... You know... The prophecy be done. A pillar of smoke engulfs the witch, becoming blindingly white. Your eyes become transfixed upon it and watch as another form appears within. Now knowest this form? 
From him shall one universe end to beget yet another. Then suddenly the eyes of the figure begin to glow. The vision attacks. Ooh, two statues. Y'all, y'all, you know, know y'all look a little stiff. Okay, as before, Dispel Undead pretty much took these out. And the, the funny thing is, the only spell these, these statues can cast is Dispel Undead. So they're just literally hit, gonna hit us with the spell undead. You know, there's only one problem. De Forte is not an undead, so we're just gonna dispel undead them back. I always like to go max power just to be safe. Bye bye. Need the rose petals. The crumpled body of the fallen figure slowly begins to transform amid swales of darkly mists, soon to reveal the bloody corpse of the raving witch. Dissolving into the air of it eventually dissipates in the hush air, leaving naught but a small, shiny object on the cavern. So we found one golden teeth. Okay, so now we have three out of the four parts. I think all we have left is the ears. So now what we need to do is look where we haven't been. You know, look for, look for a new path. I don't think this is it because this just, yeah. That's all right though, you know, we're And right now I'm still working on Wednesday as far as what I want to stream. There's a part of me that wants to, um, um, I, I want to see if I, I think I may have fixed the Ultima issue. And if that's the case, I'm, I'd like to stream Ultima. Ultima 7, the circle. Okay, but ooh, fairy witches, blackbirds, and blackbirds. Hmm. Let's see what they're capable of. Ah, oh, these are vultures. Vultures are not too bad. I don't think vultures can drain anything, which is a good thing. And, and see why the cane of corpus is better than the light sword is because you actually you have the those additional powers uh you have you know it can poison it can paralyze and from what i was told it's a pretty powerful poison it's not like oh you know, it's... Oh, the vul some of the vultures are thinking better about their... Uh, uh, thinking of trying to make better life choices and fly away. Um, nothing exciting today. I did... I actually did get my um, uh, flu shot and... And also my uh, uh, bo COVID booster. Um, if you're having trouble, um, if you're having trouble paying for your flu shot, I mean for your COVID shot, um, uh, when you look up, uh, go to vaccine.gov, um, look at bridge, a if you don't have insurance, look at bridge access program. They, they have, those places have where you can, um, uh, you can, you know, if you don't have insurance, they'll actually give you, you know, give you the COVID shot free. But you have to, when you're looking it up, you have to filter the, um, you know, you have to filter saying, you know, only list places with the, uh, I think it's called Bridge Access Program. So check that out.
that out, you know? I think the flu shot without insurance was like 37 because the cool, uh, the cool pharmacist technician, uh, used, uh, uh, used a discount card, which I think was really cool. Okay, I'm just, I'm uh, writing something up real quick. Okay, so let's see where, um, so we've got, a, um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to hide, and it's probably best if we do, um, um, probably, uh, falling stars. We may not get all of them, but at least that'll help get most of them. But yeah, I got the flu shot and the COVID, so... Who knows how I'll be feeling tomorrow. If, if past performance is any indication, usually at 24 hours, that's when I start to get feverish. Okay, so we got some spectral ravens. Got more spectral ravens. Okay. Some of those blackbirds are. Now keep in mind that the spectral ravens can blink out. Hap, I didn't even know we were frightened. Moody, you need to pay attention more. Sheesh, where did we go? Where did we end up? Well, first, let's get rid of this frightened state. Okay, letting you know there is an ad break coming up soon. Um, so what I do on an ad break is I often use it to like either hydrate, use the bathroom. Y'all feel free to use it for that reason too. Okay, so we didn't at least go too far. So we're going to go across and down. Okay. I have a feeling that the two in front are... I have a feeling the two in front are um, shadow crusts. And shadow crusts are the worst because they can, they can disease you. They, they can they can disease you now fortunately we do have cure disease if you get disease you need to take care of it ASAP Thank you. 
Okay, so what we're going to... Oh. We do now, an ad break is now in progress. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a break myself. So we're going to BRB. Okay, the ad break is over, so we are back. Uh, so I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use falling uh, falling stars. We're just gonna watch the fun. We're gonna. We're just gonna. We're 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 just gonna watch creatures explode. Now again, with with five monster groups, you use, you do want to use one of the mass damage spells. Yep, I knew they were shadow crusts like the mass damage spells that affect all monsters. Because a lot of the spells only affect one monster group. So keep that in mind. Okay. Very good. Yep, usually when it opens up like this, you usually get a... Okay, we got some fairy witches and some blackbirds. I have a feeling the blackbirds are vultures. Because they usually... That's what, that's what usually accompanies fairy witches. Oh, and they, they cute. They're, they, they, they decided to conjure. At least they conjured vultures. That, that's it's not bad. It's it's not like Magda Dane who casts some like un crazy undead, you know. Forget what it was, but it was like Fortunately we were able to dispel it, but still it was it was annoying as heck. 
Welcome in everyone. Hope everyone's having fun. Again, John Moody of Moody Mystery. I'm still playing through the Mo Wiz P4 tape balance mod of Wizardry 7, having fun. Of course, notice single character. Oh, hey, Captain Zanzibar, welcome on in. What's up, nerd? Captain Zanzibar's good streamer plays pinball um, right now. Uh, right now, he's been playing a lot of uh, party animals. I mean, you just have to check that out. That I mean, part of that is just that's that's just so much fun. Okay, let's give a shout out to Captain Zanzibar. If you're not following him, go go follow him. Oh, Captain, the most importantly, also does a lot of excellent, um, excellent, um, you know, stream excellent streaming for charity. Yeah, it it, it is a silly game. It just, I mean, you know, I've, I've I've watched you play it, and I've never heard so much like. You know, people talking in Discord and just like laughing, having fun, smack talking. I'm like, you know, personally, this is just my opinion. I think, I think, I think that's like, um, how pretty darn good stream when you've got like people. Okay, let's let's kill this last fairy witch. Before the, before she'd start casting annoying spells. Oh, one vulture decided to make a good life choice and just fly away. I'm not even going to hide because it's like... I mean, I've got this kick-ass weapon. caves now and our goal is we're trying we're actually trying to find four body parts okay let me find the darn body parts okay don't don't keep throwing random encounters in my way I'm already like level freaking like 70 no Two creeping cruds, how nice. And Cap, if you're still around after this battle, I'll show you, I'll show you my character. I've got a pretty, let's just say, got a pretty kick-ass character. Okay, so here's my character, level 70. Oh, I know you're disappointed. That means I, I level I leveled up from level 69. Cane of Corpus, good, excellent, probably best weapon in the game, and you'll be a little of healing. Um, we're also on a flower quest, quest, we've got red roses and uh, purple plumac. Uh, pan flute, we can, we can play instruments. Ring of demons, what the hell? Guru of Nemus Bond, knock knock spell. Any type of jokes are encouraged, puns are encouraged, especially knock-knock jokes. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to show you the one. Notice the armor class, minus 18. It's because ninjas, you know, as they go up in level, kind of like monks in D&D, uh, &D, they act, their armor class slowly gets lower. And of course we're level 70, so we're like, you know, super super low level. I mean super low armor, I mean super low armor class. Now, that being said, you, you see these plus tens? 
This is what's called our penetration armor class. So in other words, if a character hits us, it's definitely going to penetrate. Wait, I'm not wearing any armor. Except for the helm. You know what that means? I'm naked. Woo. <laughs> but essentially what happens if I get paralyzed or blinded, I lose my negative 18. Okay, I think if I remember there is a... Okay, upon the wall of this cavern hangs a mirror of black stone. As you approach, a spectral face with ears of gold appear within. That's boils and raven's blood. What name be under East Witch Hood? <laughs> You'll never find out. <laughs> I think it's Neralda. Let's try, let's try Barbana. Upon calling out the name, a wild pound ammonium and hisses, and colored vapor suddenly erupts before you. From the billow of swirling fumes is revealed the figure of a raving witch. <laughs> Thou that calls my name shall know my thy bane. Wilt thou fill my gold hold with one thousand coins of gold? Um, who else? Mr. D.W. Bradley, who wrote this game? You need, as I said before, you need to find another poet, because this is a, this is, this rhyme is like, you're just trying too hard. It's like, okay, I need to find something to rhyme, okay. Oh, this works. <laughs> yes, I've got to. A prophecy be done. A pillar of smoke engulfs the witch, becoming blindingly white. Your eyes become transfixed upon it and watch as another form appears within. Thou knowest this form? In the scheme of his master, yet another game shall unfold. Then suddenly the figure attacks. Ooh. I didn't know Al Alethetius had a twin. How quaint. Now one thing that ninjas can do is ninjas can hide. As I said, I don't know the people coming in if they're experienced players or you know, new, but now see, if you see above the T in my, the name, Deforte, you see there's a little silhouette, that means I'm hidden. Now, I can still be hit by spells or breath attacks, but so far I've been three for three at using Dispel Undead up on these visions. Make it. The fallen figure slowly begins to transform amid swales of darkly mists, soon to reveal the bloody corpse of a raving witch. Dissolving into a theater of vapor, it eventually dissipates into the hush air, leaving naught but a small, shiny object on the cavern floor. We found golden ears! Okay, so we've now found all four pieces, all four body parts, so now the next thing to do is to go there there's a there's a dios where we can where we can uh, melt meld the parts where we can put the parts into place now let's let's look at our map kit and find out where that is got a journey map kit i think it's yeah i think it's this way Okay, so now let's see which way we need to go. Okay, uh, yeah, I think it's up and then southeast, kind of. OK, 
Okay, so let's go as far as we can go. Hmm. Maybe this isn't it. Well, let's see. Wait a minute, this isn't it. Drawing forth the fan of Deos, the shining object resting upon it appears to be in the shape of a human head, made of solid gold but lacking any facial features. Just a blank, void, golden head. Okay, so we're going to start to put the, the... So let's put the golden teeth. Touching the witch's golden teeth to the gilt head, they magically meld into place. Touching the witch's golden ears to the sides of the gilt head, they magically meld into place. Let's pick up the remaining two pieces. Okay, it's not blank anymore. Golden nose. Touching the witch's golden nose to the gilt head, it magically melds into place. Touching the witch's golden eyes to the gilt head, they magically meld into place. The beautiful face of the golden head now complete, a phosphorescent broom begins to coalesce around the bewitching fan fantata. From the smoky plumes arises the full form of the golden witch, Hilnyida, emanating and radiating you know, a nice aura. One hand is raised upright in a reverent sign of peace and tranquility, and in the other burns bright a glowing pyramid upon whose apex floats an illuminant eye. Oh, with a voice delicate and tender, she speaks. And in the final hour of darkness, when the battle be bloodiest and all hope becomes lost, let this icon, the Elysiad, be thy guiding spirit and help deliver unto thee thy place of destiny as thee hast delivered unto me mine own. She then waves her hand over the vine icon it becomes black and j as jet and she places it upon the dais. Then speaking again she says, Herein lies the domain a part of the puzzle. For as the prophecy is filled, the time has come that it be revealed. Remember that thee dost always a traveling road leading to thine own discovery. And in an iridescent plumage of boot billowing clouds, she becomes an ether and gently wisps away. Picking up the obsidian tetrahedron, you feel a flowing surge of enchanted energy which bestows a special blessing. Okay, I don't remember what I got. I think I got either speed, vitality, or piety, because once those hit 19, you can't raise them further. E except... <coughs> excuse me, except with certain items. Oh, cool, it looks like an, uh, a passage has opened back yonder here. Okay, so we're going to check out this chest, see what's in it. Hopefully it's some cool stuff. If not, that's all right. Okay, let's save it because you know what happened the last time. Now, I'm not. Um, one rule here is there's no save scumming except for one or two exceptions. Now, if I die, of course, that does end the, the game. But what I mean by save scumming is if, let's say, I die, you know, that, that counts as a death. Now, of course, that'll, that'll end the game. But, like, save scumming, if, let's say, I get, like, 
you know, let's say I get a, uh, let's say I get no increase in ability scores on a level up, I can't go back and say, hey, let's redo. Okay, so let's see what this chest contains. Okay, now we have to inspect it first. Remember, green is good. So now we're going to disarm it. Looks like four, eight, and five. So the, those three are the only things we have to disarm. Ooh, okay, it's a stunner. So let's, number one, there you see it's green, so we disarm that, that, that part. Green again, so we disarm. Now if it's yellow, So what we're going to do now it is, I don't know about y'all, I'm, he um, I'm heading out. We're finished with the witch cave. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the mountains, back to the uh, mountains. And now that we've done this, now we can uh, go down that um, long vine that we've talked about before. But first... Hey, um, and, uh, okay. Ooh. Even though these are fairly simple monsters, I'm still going to use a, um, I'm still going to use a, what is that? I'm still going to use falling stars. I'm still going to use falling stars. And by the way, if you can, no. So I'm going to use a falling star, uh, falling stars because I've got five monster groups. Okay. 
Okay, so we made a level. Okay, so we're pretty much maxed out on most of our skills. So we're going down. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to remember which one I need to take. Oh, not yet. Okay. Really, game? And see, the worst part is it sends these big groups at five, five groups at us. I mean, you know, sheesh. It's like, sheesh, couldn't you give me a break and maybe send something like a lot, le lot less significant? Try to get okay. So we're gonna do an 80 um, falling stars again. Let, well, let's do 95 just to be safe. Okay, that's a fizzle. Now D Forte, D, um, the ninja did take did take a while to earn earn the name back so i'm not i'm going to i'm going to give him a chance to keep it give him a chance to keep it before you know before we get gets renamed to failure Found, I've actually found Falling Stars to be a very effective spell. The only th thing it doesn't work against is jellyfish-like creatures, so... Okay, the Shadow Crust, but we've got our Cane of Corpus ready to... ready to kick some butt. get out of here. Oh yeah, I haven't even gotten that far. It's like, oh yeah, I went so far then the game decided, okay, we're going to throw some uh, throw some monsters your way. How quaint. Okay, I'm going to guess it's the middle one. I'm going to guess it's this one. And once we get close, then I can see if we are right. Let's see, are we right? Don't know yet. Okay. Let's see, okay. Yeah, we got it, we got it. It was the middle one, yes. Ooh, fresh air, finally. Okay, so what we're going to do now is now we are going to climb down the mountain. We're going to start to climb. So, steep trail which leads down the mountain here. We're going to climb down the mountain. We're gonna remain here because we want this. Uh, we want the fourth level. 
let's see, is this the one we want? Because the one we want has, yes, this is the one we want. It has two exits. There's, no, this is the one we don't want to go down. It's, it's the one next to it. Oh crap, I, I was like, I thought this this was a you-know-what, so I guess we have to go down this one. Now, by the way, in case you're wondering why, why, why I'm, why, you know, keep in mind that climbing does not always succeed. Thank you for at least only giving us one monster group, so it's going to go quicker. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing, all, I'm doing fine, thank you. Vultures. These can these can drain hit points permanently. So I'm just moving a few things around. So let's uh, let's kick these vampire vultures butt. And the good thing is, you know, poison is good, but paralysis is even better. Because with paralysis, they're sitting ducks. Well, wait a minute. These are they're not. These were not sitting ducks. They're sitting. They're sitting vultures. Let's see if this is the one where we get the um, where we get the second thing. Ah. Oh yes, here it is. Okay. Uh, we're gonna rest here a little bit. We're gonna rest here a couple times. Uh, just FYI, uh, today today was my first day of while well, we're resting. Today was my first what I would call true weight day of working out. It actually went well, but honestly, I was a lot weaker than I thought. So hopefully, my strength will come back soon. Okay, you were standing atop a sheer cliff, and below you the trees of the forest appear as little specks of pool of emerald lawn. A long vine dangles down the sheer cliff into the forest below. We're going to remain here for now because I want to save it. Now, um, I do want to show you something. And sorry, as I say, if I... I mean, lurkers are welcome, but if I don't know who you are in chat, then I don't know whether to, like, go into lengthy explanations or if I can, you know, if let's say you're, um, like someone that I know has played Wizardry 7, I can just, you know, skip the, skip the baloney, but, you know, I have a client.
climbing of 100. That means I'm a pretty awesome climber. Now, this is probably the toughest, toughest one that you'll undergo. I mean, this is the toughest climb you'll undergo. I would say probably you need a minimum of 60 or 70 climbing to make sure you don't die. Because, yes, you can fall to your death. With grim determination amidst visions of a pulpy death, you bravely make the unfathomable climb. At the base of a sheer cliff dangles a long line or bind from far above. I'm going to remain here for now. So now what we've done is we're, we're out of like the really steep mountains, and so now we're into these mountains. And one thing you want to do is you want to step on every you want to step on every square because we are looking we are looking for the flowers and there's three flower ooh four iguanodons okay good um i have a feeling there is an ad break coming soon oh, also when i was talking about my strength increasing Another thing I also increased was my protein intake. You know, so what I've done is I've actually had, um, I have two meals. I aim for about 40 grams of protein in each meal. Um, my, I, I'm, my liver is still a little swollen, so I can't, my stomach can't expand all the way. Okay, so we have an ad break going, so you know what that means. Okay, now I'm just going to mention one thing about the ad breaks. I now get a message that tells me how long the ad breaks are. But the thing is, on my computer, sometimes they end early. I don't know why. That's puzzling. But and also feel free to check out some of the Channel Point uh, redeems. 
Uh, the two newest ones are, I mean, the new ones are, um, somewhat new is the uh, vi arcades and pinball. Um, I also recently added gym humor and stories and retail humor and stories. Okay, one left. Now what that means, if we have to go hit every square, that means, now if I wanted to, I could break out a map and just, ooh, go to it now. Okay, these are rock lizards. You want to be careful because if they bite you, um, they're at their name because they can turn you into ro a rock. Basically petrify you. I used to say they would get you stoned, but then people started making jokes about What's so bad about being stoned, man? Looks like we've covered all of them so far, so we can go down here. Let's see. Make sure, make sure we're going in the right direction. Okay, so we go, I think, down one, two. Okay, and so we go this way. Now we go over this way. Yeah, that's the dead end. Okay. So now it just becomes trees for a little bit. So let's see where we are. Okay, this is kind of an open field. A sudden cold chill rushes through you as you come to the edge of a clearing in the forest. Suddenly in the sky you see a soaring black bird pursued by a fl flock of demonic flying creatures. The blackbird descends upon you with a telling pain that speaks all too well of its desperate plight. <coughs> Stopping just before you, the doomed bird looks into your face and attempts to crown out something which you might understand. Oh, help me! Then it is off again and you watch as its pursuers quickly gain. And you know that it is only a short matter of time before they succeed in catching their prey. Ha 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 ha! I'm going to try something.
I'm not sure if this is the wi the witching place, but I'm going to um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna rest for a little bit. point of the day when, when it gets darkest. Oh! They, 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 these, these, these guys came early. Come on. Halloween is not for another two weeks, okay? So what are you doing here now? Trick or treat. Trick or treat. You know what? Trick. Trick. Meet my cane of corpus. Anti-magic. Well, if I were casting spells, yes. But wait a minute. I'm not casting spells. Why? Because I've got a cane of corpus here. <laughs> now, you know what would be better? Having a rod of sprites as a secondary weapon. Oh. I mean, we we would we would just be balling. We would just be balling. Who doesn't want to be balling? <laughs> Okay, looks like NBA is going to be opening soon, opening their season soon. So I'd say if you're a sports fan, October is a pretty darn good month because you've got NHL starting, NBA starting, um, MLB, MLB is uh, in the playoffs, you got the NFL, and of course you've got the... experience. Now one thing this also does, this also tells you how much experience you need to the next level. And notice my age is only 18. I can I can just see my mom talking with like um, DeForte's mom talking with someone and saying, oh wait, oh you you got into um uh, you got into a call into college that's sweet. My my son's a level seventy one ninja. And just in just six months out of high school. Okay, so let's go again. Draw near to one of the faint specters who menacingly turns to face you. <laughs> Mummies, tombs, and hexing wombs. I am it that the witch west dooms. By a nose of gold her wish be done. 
tis Carmela called in mountains yawn. Lack in chains on dead man's veins, I admit that the south witch banes. By teeth of gold her wish be done, tis Zangdasa called in mountains yawn. Icy fires and goblin pyres, I am that the north witch sires. By eyes of gold her wish be done, tis Naraldo called in mountains yon. skeleton bowls, I am it that the east witch tolls, by ears of girl her west be done, tis Barbana called in mountains yawn. Now I went through this sequence because this is actually how you find the names of the witches. Now that being said, I did not want to come all the way down here. Okay, but you notice that we have three exits. There's one here, one here, one over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this one first. I'm going to see where this goes. Oh great, even more decision making. Oh great, we're not lost. Oh boy. Now, you see the exclamation points before the ratkin thieves, ratkin bandits? That means a few of them are hidden. D. Forte gave these, um, gave, gave these, um, gave the monsters the, also the ability to hide. Now, one thing I usually do is I don't like to hide myself because what can happen is you could get down into a situation where I'm hidden and there's one monster left that's also hidden and you ass that essentially becomes a stalemate. The only way to break it is you just have to keep casting spells and hope that the spell gets through to the hidden monster. So we're just going to do Falling Stars level 4. These are fairly weak monsters, so level 4 should take out uh, most of them except for the ones that are hidden. Hope everyone's doing well this evening. As I said, I'm, ha I'm having fun. I'm, I'm trying, as I said, playing through this, the, the wizardry uh, balanced mod single character. I've done single character runs before, but never with the balance mod. And by the way, it's on expert mode. Expert mode means that you get a couple extra monsters. And also, you notice that when I fought the visions in the witch's cave, you notice that I got two of them. So it, you, it, it also doubles the monsters, which does make it more challenging, but another thing, if you're doing grinding, and honestly in some of, some of these games, you do have to grind. Now what we mean by grinding is, you, let's say you're, you're hanging out, maybe, maybe you found a, a healing fountain, so you just hang out there and you just keep fighting monster after monster, and every time you're finished, you, you go to the healing fountain, heal up and rinse and repeat. You know, that that's what's called grinding. Um, some, sometimes I've, I've done off-screen grinding, and I've also done uh, on-screen grinding. Nope, we don't want a potion. We, we only got, see, the thing is, we only got,
not 20 inventory slots. So that's why we're being, that's why we're not picking anything up. Ooh, fire crows. This will be interesting. Fire crows. Now I don't know if any of you have noticed yet, you may know when I'm not gone, you may notice that my bed has been shifted some. And it's because, it's, it's because um, I, um, I talked to a few financial people and uh, several of them said that, yes, you're, if you go back to renting, you're still going to pay. Uh, but they said if you sell the house and get the right price for it, you, you have a potential to, to, to make some money. And I, I'll use that money to maybe pay off a few debts and, you know. Because if you pay off debts, what that does is that's less you have to pay a month. was a big nothing burger. So let's go back. Okay, so there's another, another, another path. Hmm, this one's interesting. gone this way before. That's why we have the journey map kit. There, there, there is an inscription on the journey map, map kit that says, don't stop believing. I would sing that, but then I'm no, I'm going to get a, I'm going to get um, YouTube's going to flag me for copyright. And the last video I got, um, you know, um, YouTube, YouTube um, got me for copyright, which 
I'm not complaining, but I kind of knew it just because... Because the music was played. Oh, I should turn the music off, but the, the, the music's so cool. It was so cool on Friday the 13th. You know? Okay, we've got some savant guards. Sounds all right. I don't. I don't want the. Um, you know. I don't want the, the game sound to overwhelm my my voice. You know. It's like the game sound. Okay. It's like the game sounds not like super critical. You know. What I probably should do if I become unhidden here, I should probably not hide again because I don't. Yeah. Because again, I, don't, I want to avoid the stalemate issue. Seven seven. Three rat can Ronin are tough enough. Imagine having five groups with a total of 23 rat can Ronin. You're right, that. You're right. You're right. I said that. 23. We're definitely going to hide. I'm going to tell you the, the, those those warple blades are nasty. Oh. 
that pretty much all of the all, almost all of the Ronin got got to attack first before I even had a chance to hide and I'm level 72 with I think like 19 decks and I know eight nine I think it, my decks is either 18 or 19 I know my speed is 19 and yet they all got to go first hmm not sure why that was, but... Okay, so... Yes. Falling stars. Again. Now again, remember, sometimes spells can get through even if I'm hidden. And that's true in the regular regular version of Wizardry 7. Apparently one group cast a, um, I think either a, a magic screen or some type of... Okay, so now these five we're going to attack by melee. We're not, I mean, we're not going to use spells. One Ronin that, did, that decided that, that made a good life choice. Um, right now we are in the forest. We are looking for three more flowers. We are on the, um, um, right, we are at, we're actually trying to do, um, we've, we've already done the witch's cave, um, so what we're, what we're doing next is we're doing the five, five flower quest, um, then, then we get to report to Z Zhang Zhen, I think once we do the five flower, flower quest, then we're gonna go, then we're gonna go into Ooper, and do that quest. Right, we're going to um, we're we're uh, we're going to we're going to join the Umpani. Holy shikies! Six hundred and seventy-nine thousand XP. Is just cray cray. That being said, I mean, I actually got, I actually got like 2.13 million XP for defeating the Magna Dane and and, and, and all, all, all the monsters the Magna Dane summoned. It was, I think it was episode 17. Check, checked out the end of it where where it, it that that battle took 25 minutes it was a battle of summoning yeah okay hmm i think we have reached a dead end here yes we have okay So I think that means we need to go back this way, go back east, May, and maybe all, maybe back to the uh, the place where. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. We need to go up this way. So let's turn around. Let's see where we are. Hitting 
hitting us with like some five group, some five group, uh, you know, Rack and Ronin. There, there's probably going to be an ad break coming soon. You, usually it comes at about 1.30. And again during ad breaks I I don't I don't see you can't hear my voice so I usually don't speak. So what I, what I usually do I usually t I usually use it as a chance to just you know you know go to the bathroom get some get some water to drink you can do the same thing. Your bathroom, drink water. Ah, <laughs> uh, Cane of Corpus is with that bash, I think, uh, does allow us to do double damage. If you see there, there looks like a mask above the E. That means that I'm irritated. So maybe I have something like an itchy nose, something itchy, you know, where I'm like busy scratching it, and so I won't be able to pay attention to. Ah, okay, so this is the clearing. This is where we want to be, if I remember. Okay, so there's two ways, one going up and one going down. I'm going to take the going up. Ah, nothing. That, that's, a, that's a nothing burger. Ah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm, when I, I'm gonna, before I go down, I'm going to rest. There's going to be an ad break coming soon. I'm not sure when. A lot of times it doesn't tell me on these later ad breaks. I just get a pop-up saying, there's an ad break going on now. I'm like, thank, thank you for the surprise. How many times do I have to tell you? Halloween is two weeks away, okay? Well, I shouldn't say anything. I mean, there's oodles of people already have their ho houses. Lots of people have their houses decorated. Um, there's all these, like, there's, like, pumpkin carving. Um... Uh, one thing I'd love to do is just need to find maybe a few cool people to do it with here and where I live is um, I'd love to do a corn maze. That would that would be that would be a lot of fun. In fact, it would be amazing. Okay. We're going after the Halloweeches because they are spellcasters. You usually you oh okay. You usually you want to go after the spellcasters first. There's an ad break. So I'm going to BRB.
Okay. Ad break is over, so now we're back. Uh, my my ads, the ads I have on my other computer that I'm watching, kind of help monitoring the stream with. I'm. Um, they went over by about 15 seconds, so. <laughs> What I, from what I remember, not everyone seems to get the same number of ads or types of ads. So I'm not exactly sure how, how that works. If you see, you see the skeleton with the green um, kind of like rain raindrop to the right of it. That means that I'm poisoned. It's poison now. What that means is, depending on how strong the poison is, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose hit points. Now, remember that I also had. If if so, if I get hit with some really strong poison. There's a possibility that I may die before the poison get leaves me because over time the poison will decrease. Now that being said, I don't I don't know how much it decrease it's gonna decrease, you know, so um, what I'm gonna do is I've got cure poison. Um, in my opinion, that's that's one of the spells in in uh, in, in wizard. If you can like pick a spell, that's probably one of the, the uh, if once once you get an opportunity to take it, take it. I know not all classes do this, but if if, if you get the opportunity to get like heal wounds and the spell on dead, get those ASAP. Those those are me where it's it's maxed out okay so we got two directions we can go okay so both of those are nothing burgers okay just as I suspected okay so we may have to go back even further yeah I remember okay so let's go Hey, D Forte, how you doing? How's the run going? Welcome on in. Go, run's going going uh, pretty nicely. I'm I'm actually going I'm actually going for some flowers right now. So, so, I, so I've I've climbed I've climbed down the long vine, the the thousand foot vine, and so now I'm in the, this area. Okay. There's a pass, there's a thing going to the right. And so the flowers I remember, I have to step on each square. Yeah, welcome on in. I'm going to. Um, De Forte is actually the one responsible for this, for this mod. Um, giving D Forte a shout out. You should check out not only his streams but also his YouTube channel. He does lots of retro gaming and retro game reviews. And I, I usually think they're they're pretty they're pretty spot on. You know they're um, okay. Well, guess what. <laughs> Welcome, glad to, glad to, um, um, you know, glad, glad to shout you out. By the way, following is free, so, and following what it does is it gets, de depending on the, um, streamer, minimum you get notifications, sometimes you get other, other. 
other benefits. I, I know there's some streamers that say that you have to be um, at least following in order to participate in chat. I don't know. I'm not a fan of that. I'd, I'd rather, you know, if someone's not doesn't follow and still wishes to be in chat, that's it's fine by me. But be nice if you follow. said, me, me being a, a chemist, most of the acids I know of are colorless, believe it or not. Um, I, I know nitric acid is a bit yellowish, and I think uh, aqua reagent is orange, but that, that's the more common acids. You think of like hydrochloric, nitric, sulfuric. Okay. Really, I take one step. Seriously, game? At least you did not do that to me. On, on the uh, on the Magna Dane encounter. Trust me. If if you would have done pulled that on the Magna Dane encounter, I'll tell you what. Okay, Fire X Y Z regime Jim Jim stories and humor. Ah, oh, let's do it now before I battle these. Um, so I have a little chance to like calm, at least calm down, be like, okay, come on, computer. And by the way, a little secret is, um, a little secret is I actually, I actually have these pre-written out. I know, I know that's that maybe cheating a little bit. Okay, but Jim Story's humor. I'm going to do something humor. Uh, well, my, my trainer told me, told me like to do 60 minutes of cardio. And I'm thinking, sheesh, 60 minutes of cardio? Won't I get bored? And my trainer said, no, it's very simple. Don't bring any music and do your cardio for 20 minutes. I'm like, what? It's like, well, if you're not listening to music, 20 minutes of cardio is going to seem like 60 minutes. Trust me. Why do you think you see everyone at the gym wearing, wearing headphones? Y you know, so... Right now, I'm doing everything I can to find my i, I think iPad Nano or iPod Nano. Before I go, before I go crazy, my next cardio session's Wednesday. Yeah, that's that's how you that's how you do it. Um, so we're gonna go back. We are gonna go back to our old standby. But thank you, Fire XYD. Thank you for the gym story humor.
sink at us. That's weird that unexpectedly it said one Luna Mothra died. I don't know. Oh yeah, I did. Hmm, okay. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh crap, I think they put me to sleep. So that means I became unhidden. So I have to hide again. Okay, and by the way, this stream will be... I, I usually... I've decided to go for about two and a half hours now. Because two hours and 15 minutes usually lands right into an ad break. And I don't like to be like, there's an ad break and two minutes later we're gone. Uh, that being said, if we, if there's a raid, like if there's a raid or something along those lines, then I'll at least go 30 minutes past, probably about maybe 30 minutes past the raid, depending on, So we're killing all the glow monsters with falling stars. Okay. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna forgo spells and instead break out the um break out the can of corpus. Look at that damage, 78! in the breeze. Pick the white blossom. A stinky odor shoots from the blossom when you grasp it. There is also a strange potion on the ground. Perhaps it's for a worm around.
Okay, so now what we need to do is now, okay, oh yeah, I see where we need to go back to. So we now have three flowers. We've only got two more to go. And I think I know where they are. see where we go. I think, see, I think at this point we want to go to the road. Okay, so we're going to have to go south. Okay, so here is the road. So we finally made it to, to the road. I'm not sure which direction I want to go in. I'm going to go south first. Pompani Renegade. Now, even though, even though we're on a good basis with the Ampani, um, there are some Ampani that don't follow the rules, you know, They're like, oh, you know. Um, I, I assume, I hope the sound's all right. I hope, I hope my voice isn't too, too overpowering. You know, I'm, I have the mic, I have the mic off my mouth a little bit because, you know, I, you know, I've, I've, I've noticed, some couple people notice that when it's right, right over my mouth, they can hear my breathing. Oh, I like the umpawny wants to run, it's blocked. No, 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 no. checking all side areas for possible uh, for the possibility that there may be a trail. I think I vaguely remember, but you know, I want to I want to still make 1,000% sure. Oh, yeah, I think I was that way already. Okay, we get another encounter. yippee ki uh, Let's see. Okay, Ratkins and T. Wilders. Okay, and at least one of the Ratkins is hidden. Uh, as I said, once I'm right now I've actually been streaming a fairly consistent schedule Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at, at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I don't like that because it kind of, yeah, that way people know when I'm, you know, that way people know when I'm streaming if they want to really watch me they can plant plan around it. I actually do the same for 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 some some of the other streamers. I'm like I know approximately when they uh, when they I I know when they start, and so I can be like okay. Now there's a few, unfortunately, that one of them I think starts at like 2 a.m. and another one that starts at like 4 a.m. So those are a bit tough. Okay, so we're down to two T Rang Wilders. That's good. Okay, so we, we're hiding.
fighting, so this should this should get rid of the T rank. Se oh, I'm, I'm just loving this cane of corpus. 74 damage, 72 damage. Okay, so now we just got the Ratkin Thieves. We're not gonna hide, we're just gonna, we're just gonna take them out. Um, yeah, football fans, um, it's, um, halftime has just ended. It's, uh, it's now, it's 10 7 Dallas. I wouldn't say my character's a superhero because. I'm so vulnerable to chest traps. But I also think I I also think having it on expert mode on expert difficulty level is is really helps because that, you know what that does is I actually get extra monsters to fight. Let's see what's up here. Just as I suspected, a nothing burger. That's my new term. If I don't, if I find, don't find anything, I think I'm going to call it, a, it's a nothing burger. Linky Link is 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 really wanting wanting some stars. Okay. I can break out some stars. I can break out some falling stars. You're right. I'd say once you get to four groups, that's when you start thinking about. That's when you think you know. It also depends what the groups are too. tend to lean towards falling stars. Now that being said, maybe maybe what I should do, maybe I should have at some point hit with asphyxiation. Um, D Forte, is that even on like some of the high level monsters? Is that, that's, that's why I tend to not use this as asphyxiation because now this is the vanilla version that tended to not work as as about as I, I would say more often than it did. Oh, air and death resistance. See, oh, I think I know what you mean. Thank <laughs> you. 
Network. See, Linky Link, I like one party member because they don't have to share. Just in and out, just letting you know about the stream ending at two min two hours and thirty minutes. So, thirty minutes remaining, unless unless somehow we get raided. Uh, yes, Linky Link. What happened is, uh, the um, failure because I give them two chances. You know, and and I think the failure only fizzled one time. So I decided to re rename them and. It's the DeForte mod, so... Just figured. Now that being said, that doesn't that doesn't mean that it's gonna stay DeForte forever. I mean there's still there's still that possibility that course, the second time I'm not going to name the failure. I'm going to think of something more creative. Hey, why are you hiding? These are dim freaking demented bunks. They're like the lowest, lowest type of bunk. I mean, you could. <sighs> Moody, sometimes you just don't think. <laughs> Hide from my brother T. Schober. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I saw, if I saw Brother T-Sober, Dupre, and Lobar walking into my bar that I owned, I'd, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be licking my chops and being like, money. Okay. At least they only sent us Mano Groves this time. They didn't. S I, I, I assume the sound is decently balanced. I just want to make sure.
Yeah, they, they, yeah, they have to announce, and it's, you know, and they always say he's like, you know, and not too sober. I do, I do like the Wizardry Gold version. The, the, the thing I heard about it is, is it does have the diplomacy bug, where diplomacy means nothing. Now, why, why are we hiding? Let's just... Let's just straight, you know... Cane of Corpus them out of, you know. doing well. I'm, uh, I actually did weights for the first time today, so I, I mean serious weights for the first time, so um, Again, we're not going to hide. We're just going to I'm just going to straight up bang bash him. an ad break. This is going to be the last one. So I'm going to be RB. I'm going to
Okay, ad break is over. Welcome back. I'm going to put a joke in chat. Okay. As I said, I like I like humor, I like jokes, puns. If you want to put them in chat, go right ahead. Yet one of the ads had dogs going into a tent. So apparently the type of tent it is, it's a pup tent. <laughs> Okay, we're down to one mo monster group again. No, um, uh, no, no hiding. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Well, D Forte, especially now a little bit more. Uh, now that I'm really, I'm feeling a lot better. So, so I mean, I'm, I'm, you know. There, there's still there's still a couple thing two two or three things that need to be resolved, but I think getting my health back is 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 the biggest. Okay, Umpani Renegade. Um, right now, it's, I, it's my Wednesday. I may stream this again, but if I if I can somehow get Ultima Seven um, Serpent Isle to work again, I may stream that. I don't know, but just just check the schedule. I'm, I've actually I've actually started putting up a, a, a schedule so that y'all know what I'm uh, what I'm planning on doing. Okay, I know I know what I'm doing with this. It's it's, it's like when I would meet pe like when I would let's say have a student wanting to meet with me, and I I insisted upon a specific appointment time. It's 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 to make sure that I plan that you know because sometimes what I would do is some. Like if it's I didn't have anything from let's say eight to eleven, I'd I'd uh, I'd go to the rec center and get my workout. You know, or, or, or maybe that would be a chance to maybe run run some errands. You know, so I know let's not schedule anything eight to eleven because I I'm gonna that's that's my me time. Uh, in fact, I'm just. This is interesting. I've read somewhere where phone or cell phone etiquette says that b before you call someone, you should actually text them. I don't know what y'all think of that, but I think it depends on the person. Like I know my sister, very busy. So usually with her, I text her and say when, when, um, you know, what would be, you know, what would be a good time. You know, mom, I know, I know, I know what my mom. So I don't usually text her. I just, I just call her up because I know when my mom. Okay, I better, I better make sure. I better. I'm going after the rat leaders. I better make sure that I unhide. Again, no need.
need to hide here. Again, you don't want to get into a, a stalemate situation. Okay, it looks like this is the end of the line here. Oh yeah, I already passed that part. So this is the other part. This is the another part. And this is where it gets tricky because it's very, it's kind of like an open plan almost. And, and, uh, and the forte, yes, I know I'm going after the, the, the flowers. I, I, and the reason I'm doing that is because I only have one per, one person, so they're gonna get they're gonna get all the buffs. Xenoid Xenozoid Runners. Zoids, that's how you pronounce it. Like there's runners, flyers, you know. <laughs> you know, if they if they start talking about like bases and back spots, then I'd be like, ah, the Xenozoids are really a cheerleading team. Burger here. Ditto for here. Ooh. This, this, I think, certainly has potential. Vampire vultures, we need to be careful of these. I'm also going to just give you a fitness update. I am um, every Monday. I weigh myself and I, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually down two pounds. So I, I think I think I think that's a good start. That being said, I I think I think some of it's water just because around my ankles it are not as puffy. But even then, still, that's 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 you know that's an accomplishment. Um, next week, like uh, next Monday, I actually um, every two weeks. Thank you. I act, every two weeks, I um, the royal peaks of the thick Ukpur mountains lying east shine in hues of deep purple blue. Its forests and foothills made serene by the colors of wild flowers dotting the velveted shore. Yeah, but next next Monday I'm gonna do a waist measurement, and I think that's that's a better indication. Okay, so there's probably about nine minutes left. Again, what I usually like to do is I'm not gonna interrupt. I'm not gonna like interrupt a stream during a battle. So so what what you will see is you will see an announcement like like there will be a battle and I'll say after this 
battle the stream will be over I do if you want to I do you know feel free to stick around for the raid now that being said if we if I get raided then um, then I may I may I may go a little bit longer feeling pretty good right now. I mean, I've hit the gym today, so I've really, I'm going to say this, and welcome on in. Thank you for coming on in. It's about at the end. Um, and I, Base Jack, I actually look forward um, tomorrow, um, tomorrow to your, uh, uh, to your Wizard One stream, so, well, you know, Base Jack, Base Jack does stream um, on, on the late side, but uh, what the heck? Let's give him a shout out. What the heck, Base Jack? I'll give you a shout out. As I said, he only, I've only seen him stream. I think he streams like once a week and it's been Wizardry 1. But, you know. You know, because I, I, know, I know if you're watching Wizardry 7, there's a chance that you may be, you may be liking some of the other Wizardries. Base Jack plays the Apple version, which can be tough because in the Apple version of Wizardry 1, you are allowed, you, are, you don't get, like, you are allowed to cast spells during a surprise round. So if, let's say, you get five level 10 mages, or let's, yeah, level 10 mages, and they surprise you, it's going to be like, Madalto, 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 total party wipe. Have a great day. In a hollow crag of the mountain, you spot a blue wildflower growing in apparent comfort and safety. The hollow is about three feet deep, just close enough for an outstretched arm to reach in and fetch it with a little effort. Um, I have a, I ha I have a concern, uh, computer, you know. Do you realize that I'm a fairy? You know, so I'm probably the shortest one in the group, so... You know, I'm by myself, so it's not like I can stand on, like, the the Lord's or Valkyrie's shoulders or anything. And we have a theme for a video or pinball arcade, so after this battle... Ooh. Two mountain thraxes. We're just gonna... Yelling? I mean, it almost it almost sounds like Brother Tishober trying to sing. It's like it's like um it's like a, I, a, a bad a bad singer asked me, well, what what voice should I sing? Should I go? bass or baritone and I said no you should sing tenor. Ten
10 or 12 miles away. Okay, so we got to redeem for video or pinball arcades. Uh, we're going to redeem those real quick. Okay. Who is that guy behind you? If it's that black tower, that's a uh, that's a heater. The, 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 the pinball I'm going to talk about, it's actually the first pinball that I've, pinball arcade museum that I've been to. Um, pinball PA. Um, also, the stream will end after the next encounter. Um, they, they actually do have a, f a little bit of a museum where they go over the history of pinball. It's not much. Um, they also have a decent number of video game, also regular video games, but they're and they have they also have a good selection of EMs. Um, I would say the machines overall were in good shape. There were a few that. Like there's one I think centigrade 37 where the thermometer was like out of um, out of alignment, and there were a few others where the flippers weren't working the best. Um, I think I think they're about like 30 or 40 bucks if you want like an all day pass. It's probably the way to go. Um, it was I would say my first arcade that I visited. I don't really go there anymore because uh, because now that there's just so many more good choices for arcades. I mean, just in Indianapolis, there's like probably five or six. So, okay. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna um, street um, next encounter after the encounter's over, the stream's going to end. Let's check our inventory. Okay, good. We have room for one more. Uh, I'm still. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to rest because you, you can see the yellow bar is a little bit low. But I, I want to thank everyone. We're not done yet, but I still want to thank everyone for coming on in, taking some time out, even if you were just lurking. You're just, yeah, lurkers are welcome, unless you're like a, ho a hostile lurker from like Ultima Hunter then no. Okay, so let's 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 get out let's get out of here. There's pr I know there's probably another path somewhere that we can take in order to uh, find. So we've got four flowers out of five. Okay, there's our encounter. Um, it's not really the the person I'm going to be raiding. It's not really retro, but but uh, the one thing they they have a they have they have a good deal of fun with the stream. That's and especially they're playing they're playing party animals. It's a fairly new game. I don't really know how to describe it. It's one of those things you just need to see. Okay, 
so two venom weevils. These should be easy. Um, now if there's a level up, then I still will go through the, the level up. Okay, I'm going to save it. I'm actually going to save it as the next higher number, 31. Again, please stick around for the raid. I'm going to try to um, raid as quickly as possible because I, I know time is valuable. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, let's... Um, just a tip. Um, I always... Um, for, the, for raids... Even if you're not sure, at least stick around a little bit because I've I've met so many. I probably met like seven or eight streamers just coming along on a raid and saying, "Hey, this person's really cool." We're gonna be raiding uh, Captain Zanzibar, who's in here a good bit earlier. He does um he does some chair he does a good bit of like charity work with with the stream, so. As I said, in, in, enjoy, and again, thank you. Have a great night. I uh, hope, to see, hope to see some of you on Wednesday.